acids and bases for kids. Have you ever taken a drink or eaten something and been surprised when it tastes sour? What about something that tastes bitter? These sour and bitter tastes are caused by chemicals called acids and bases. And today we are going to learn more about them. We are going to compare two liquids. One is lemon juice and the other is almond milk. Each drink looks different, but what about the way they taste? And what can these facts tell us about acids and bases? Let's investigate. Let's start by comparing how each liquid looks. The lemon juice is pretty clear and yellow, and the almond milk looks cloudy and is more of an off-white color. Next, taste. Can you tell this liquid is sour? Now he realizes why his mom always puts sugar in his lemonade. The lemon juice is too sour to drink all on its own. What about the almond milk? Her drink is not sour, but it is definitely not sweet. It actually tastes bitter. The lemon juice is sour and is an acid. Almond milk is bitter and is a base. Actually, most liquids are either an acid or a base. What do you think vinegar, carbonated water, lemon juice, and car batteries all have in common? If you said they are all acids, you are correct. These and many other everyday household products, including some foods, are acids. Here is an interesting fact. Acids always have a lot of hydrogen ions, which is cool to know, but what exactly is an acid? The word acid comes from the Latin word acer, which literally means sour. There are natural acids, which means they are found in nature, in most of the liquids we drink, like orange juice, tomato juice, and lemon juice. In our bodies, our stomachs contain something called hydrochloric acid, which helps us digest food. This acid can also help kill disease-causing germs. Acids have a lot of hydrogen ions. This is because when acids split apart in water, they release and increase the number of hydrogen ions, making a liquid more acidic. Now that we know more about acids, let's turn our focus to bases. What is a base? Bases have a bitter taste and a soap-like texture, which means they will feel soapy if you touch them. Things like baking soda, sugar, soaps, Laundry detergents and plant fertilizers are all bases. Here is another interesting fact. The pancreas organ produces a base which helps the body with digestion and blood sugar regulation. If this base is not at the right level, it can affect your whole body. When a base molecule splits apart in water, it releases hydroxide ions but also reduces hydrogen ions, which is the exact opposite reaction of an acid. Remember, acids always have more hydrogen ions and bases always have more hydroxide ions. Science is pretty cool, right? The pH scale. Because it is impossible to tell acids from bases simply by taste or the naked eye, scientists have developed something called the Potential of Hydrogen Scale, or pH scale for short. This scale is used to measure the level of the acid or base. This level depends on the number of hydrogen ions in a specific solution. The more hydrogen ions that are present, the more acidic the solution. As you can see, the pH scale uses a range from 1 to 14, 
liquids with a pH value between 0 and 7 are considered acids. Acids with a score of 0 are the strongest, meaning that they are very reactive and very dangerous. Bases have a pH value between 7 and 14. Bases with a score of 14 are the strongest, meaning they are just as reactive and dangerous as an acid with a low score. So much so that they can even burn your skin. A score of 7 indicates that the solution is neutral, which means that the number of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions are equal and cancel each other out, like water. Acids and bases can be used to neutralize or diffuse each other. For example, when your stomach feels upset because of lots of acid, you can drink milk or use a medicine called milk of magnesia to feel better. The base helps balance the acid and your stomach feels better. Another example is toothpaste, which is also a base. When bits of food decay in your mouth, the level of acid inside your mouth rises, which can lead to tooth decay. Using toothpaste helps neutralize the acid, keeping your teeth free of tooth decay. Indicators. Did you know that you can actually figure out the pH of something all on your own? In nature, there are substances called indicators that can help you do just that. Litmus is the most commonly used indicator. Its natural color is purple, but when an acidic solution touches it, it will turn red. If it is dipped into a basic solution, the litmus will turn blue. Litmus is made from organisms called lichens, which come from fungus and algae and are usually found in the form of a paper strip called litmus paper. Now that we know we can use an indicator to tell if something is an acid or base, let's test our liquids from the beginning of the video. The litmus strip is turned red. And what does the red mean? That is right. Red means that the substance is an acid. What color do you think the paper will turn when it is dipped into the almond milk? If you said blue, you are absolutely right because her cup contains a base. Now that we have learned about acids and bases, let's review. Fill in the blank. Acids have a pH value between blank and seven. Zero. True or false. Bases have lots of hydrogen ions. False. Bases have lots of hydroxide ions. What is the name of the most common indicator to determine a solution's pH level? Litmus. Great job, everyone. Acids and bases are found everywhere and can be super helpful. They are inside your body, inside the juice in your refrigerator, in the cleaning supplies you use to clean your room, and even inside the batteries of the devices you use. The next time you look around your house or apartment, see if you can find something that has an acid or a base. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.